Hey guys, today I'm going to go over the Milbank bag. This is a uh, bag used by the British forces to, as it says, a water filter. It's a gravity filter feed. Uh, basically, it's a pre filter. Uh, based on the same lines as if you take a, uh, a bandana, place it over your water bottle, and then take another cup and pour the water through that bandana, so it's a pre filter. And this falls on the same, uh, same pretext as that. So let's get some water and we're going to see how this thing works. We're going to uh, get some water out of my pond here. Uh, the first thing it says on the instructions here. Let's see if I can get it in focus. Soak the bag thoroughly by squeezing underwater. Alright, so basically what this does is going to get the material wet, of course, that's common sense. Uh, but it allows the water that you're going to filter, pre-filter, to flow through the material a little bit better. It's almost like a canvas type material uh, the bag's made out of. So we get this all nice and wet. Get these leaves off of here. Alright, so we got that. And let's get us some uh, cup of water out of here. Alright, let's see if you guys can see that. I see there's a lot of stuff floating around there. Uh, some leaf matter. There's even some water bugs floating around there in the bottom. There you go. See that little nasty thing. So a lot of nasty stuff is going to be floating through this water. Uh, again, you can use your bandana uh, if you're out in the woods and use that to pre-filter. And it does take a little time. You make sure the bandana doesn't fall through your, your water bottle. But what's nice about this Milbank bag is you just fill it up and let gravity take care of it. So we got our bag soaked and we got some nasty water so let's go over here set this up and see how this water turns out alright the next part of the instruction says uh, fill the bag to the top which would be up here and uh, fill, to, fill the bag to the top with water to be filtered hang up and allow water to run to waste down to the level of the black line which is of course the black line right there Alright, so we don't have enough water to fill all the way to the top, but we're going to go ahead and set this up. And we're going to put some water in here and we'll see how this thing works. Got our water in here, all of our little floaters and water bugs. Uh, it says here, hang up a lot of water under waist level to the level of black lime. Place water bottle under the bag and fill. This should take about five minutes. As you see, the water is coming out at a nice quick rate. So we're going to put our bottle in here and put the water filter out and see how it looks. In a couple of minutes now, about two, two and a half minutes. As you can see, the water still going at a nice rate. And there's our apple cider. That's basically what this stuff looks like. So again, like I said, this is not going to make to the water. It's not going to look out crystal clear like a bottle of water. But it does get out all those nasty floaters and... All those little creepy crawlies that get into your water, as we saw earlier. So, I mean, this works great as a pre-filter. Uh, it gives you the time to go out and take care of other camp chores, you know, such as setting up your chow, uh, your shelter, etc. Uh, I believe his, his screen name is Wiltshire Man, uh, named Sandy. He did a good video of his overnighter over in the UK. Uh, where he ran out of water, he took two quarts of water out to the field, uh, used it up, so he dug a, I believe it said it was a gypsy well, and basically in swampy water, dug a hole off to the side and let the water pre-filter that way, and he collected water this way and worked out great. Uh, again, it's not the most appetizing looking water, but it is clean uh, as far as uh, getting all the big nasties out. Uh, once you got it to this point, you definitely want to uh, sanitize your water either by boiling this or by using uh, you know, iodine tablets or whatever you have on hand. So again, you don't want to drink this water at this point. It's just pre-filtered and you want to sanitize it thereafter. So again, this is a milk bank bag. Uh, you can find them probably on eBay. Again, I, I hit up my buddy uh, Funky Prepper about these. Uh, but you can look on eBay, I believe it's .uk, uh, and you can find them there. Not sure of the price, uh, but they are out there. You just do a search for a mill bank bag. All right, guys. Uh, any comments you have, please leave them. Uh, subscribe, and we'll be seeing you in another video. 
Take care and God bless.